This is a, an articulation for a subtalar joint, um, important for the physiological movements of inversion, eversion, supination, pronation, um, for cases post lateral ankle sprain. So what I'm going to do is find the tuberosity of the navicular with my fifth finger, stabilize the tuberosity so this arm doesn't move, place the other, the palm of my hand on the calcaneum and do a lateral glide of the calcaneum on the talus while stabilizing the navicular. So the glide is going towards the couch. If I wanted to continue the articulation, I could change the position, flexing the knee to 90 degrees, slight dorsiflexion in the foot, stabilize the medial aspect of the tibia, take hold of the calcaneum, and you're doing a medial lateral glide of the calcaneum, so up and down towards the floor and the ceiling. The second technique, this is a talocrural joint distraction. Um, again, after ankle lateral ankle sprain, the talocrural joint is important for physiological dorsiflexion, plantiflexion movements and is a really important joint for shock absorption. So sometimes the talus can become compacted within the mortise of the joint, so this technique allows a distraction of the talus within the mortise. So have your patient supine, and if you can hold on to the side of the couch, just to stabilize yourself, step back and with the fifth finger wrap around the talus. At the same time, you're everting the foot and dorsiflexing. Reinforce the finger, dorsiflex with the two thumbs, lift the foot up, distract, maintain the distraction, use your body weight, and apply a thrust to the talus in the mortise.